What's going on YouTube, Uberman here. This video is not related to Uber in any way, shape, or form. This video is strictly regarding my life. I've had uh, several people ask me to do a video to uh, inform everybody what's going on with my life. So for those of you that are not interested, please just skip over the video. There's no need to watch it and then comment about how much you hate the video, okay? If you want to, go ahead. I'll just laugh about it. Um, haters are gonna hate. Um, We'll start with my health. I've had a lot of questions regarding my arm. Um, I have not been in for the, I don't even know what it's called, whatever the electric thing is where they're going to put needles in my neck and they're going to run the needles down my arm. They're going to run electricity through it and they're going to try to figure out where the nerve has damage. Um, that has not happened yet. That's supposed to be on the 28th at 1 o'clock. Um, I will update you after that happens. My doctor said chances are very good that they're going to want to do surgery and attempt to repair the nerve. I have decided and I've already informed my doctor that I will not I will not be doing surgery. It's not going to happen. Um, I have adjusted very well to the way my arm is. Uh, some days it's worse, some days it's better. And what I mean by that is some days there is more pain and some days there's not a lot of pain. Some days my hand is pretty numb and other days it feels pretty good. Uh, but at no point ever do I have full feeling in my fingers anymore. None. Um, hasn't been that way since whatever happened happened and I've, I've adjusted to it you know it takes a while to get used to but I'm still here I'm still capable of doing everything I was doing before so you know I'm not gonna sit around and dwell on it and cry over it I've got medication um, I take it very sparingly I'm very easy on my medication now because I don't like being I don't like being messed up all the time let's just call it what it is um, I refuse to become a pill popper I'm not gonna become addicted so I only take the medication when I really need it. Um, so I told my doctor after they do this test and they figure out, you know, obviously there's nerve damage and then they're going to want to cut me open. I told him uh, I'm not doing it. But before he can transfer me to a pain management center, this test has to, has to be done because they have to verify that there truly is nerve damage before I can get put on basically a lifetime uh I'll call it a lifetime subscription of prescriptions. Um it has to be done. They have to verify that I'm not lying, that there really is an issue uh, before they can do anything. Um, the reason I don't want surgery, I, I just I just don't want to be cut open. I mean, truthfully, and I, I've talked to some people that have had a similar problem, uh, nerve damage, whether it's in their neck, their back, their arm, leg, and I've heard from more people that the surgery actually makes things worse then I've heard from people saying that it makes things better. Uh, my doctor agrees, so I just won't be getting the surgery. Um, at least now, I know what I'm dealing with. The idea of getting surgery in the hopes that it gets better and then finding out I'm worse off, I, I would be very, very upset if I came out worse off than I am right now. Um, it took me a while to get used to uh, having to deal with this. So, um, other than that, I'll talk about my 300. Um, the car, a lot of people have been wondering how, I know I said this wasn't going to be about Uber, but the car does great with Uber. Um, Uber is still screwing me around when it comes to putting it on select. Uh, I've been told, yes, we'll get you on select. And I was told no. Then they said, yes, we'll get you on select when you get your uh, acceptance rating up. And now they're saying they're not going to because the car is too old. So whatever, for now it's on UberX, but the car itself has done really well. I'm averaging about 15 miles a gallon. So I've got to be really smart with when I work, where I work, how I work, uh, when you're using a car that's uh, drinking this much gasoline. So uh, there's that. The car itself is great, though. Um, I blew another catalytic converter today. It's only got two. And when I bought it, it had a, a bad one on the passenger side. And I've been a little rough on it. And uh, today the check engine light came on and I ran the codes and it turns out that now it's the driver's side. So, I, you know, it was another $300 out the window, $600 in catalytic converters. Um, it is what it is, right? I mean, you know, catalytic converter going back is really not that big of a deal. It's it's more of an emissions thing and we don't have inspections here. But I will get it fixed because I can't stand a check engine light. Um, aside from my health and now aside from the car, Probably the most important part of the video, which is probably the part you guys are least interested in, is uh, what, what I guess what you could call it my love life. Um, I'm going to put a picture up right here, right there somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, somewhere over there. There's going to be a picture, okay? I'll put a picture of her. She's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. As if looks aren't enough for you, this woman 
is exceptionally intelligent. Um, we can really sit down and have some very intellectual conversations with one another. It's really nice. Uh, it feels good. You know, I've had a rough time. Most of you guys know that uh, my love life lately has been, it's just been bad. It's its not been good. When it comes to bad luck, um, I've been receiving every bit of it. So uh, hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully things are going to go a lot smoother with her. In f they already are. Uh, I, I'm really not even hopeful about it. Things with her are great. And it is Facebook official that her and I are a couple. So you know it's serious. Um, I'm totally joking. But we really are. We're very serious. Very, very serious about one another. Uh, this woman really makes me happy. And uh, she means a lot to me. And I know she's going to see this video because she stalks uh, my Facebook. She stalks my YouTube. She's very possessive and exceptionally jealous. So uh, any of you ladies out there, watch your comments. Be careful because she might come find you. I'm kidding. She's not. She's not crazy like that. She's great. Um, but anyway, um, that's what's going on with my life, guys. I am. Uh, I've still got problems. You know, everybody's got problems, but uh, I feel good. I'm happy, and uh, a lot of that can be attributed to Jessica. So thank you for that. You uh, you've really made me much happier, and I really enjoy our conversations. Um, so guys, there you have it. That's Uberman's life. It's nothing crazy, uh, not a whole lot of drama. I'm just another guy, just like most of you, making my way through life, trying to uh, trying to find true love, trying to be happy, trying to live life to the fullest, and uh, make a few bucks on the way. So, as always, guys, I hope your lives are going well. I hope you guys are happy. I hope uh, you're making good money, and I hope you're in good health. So take care of yourselves, guys, and as always, like, comment, subscribe, be safe out there, and Uber on.